Uh, here is the outline or the course description that for this course, um, we are going to see introduction to reliability engineering, the definition and several topics related to that. Okay, so two main parts would be focused. The first one would be the concept of reliability models, the basic ones, including uh, failure distribution, constant and time dependent failure models, system reliability models using um, several techniques such as com combinatorial one, the fault tree and Markov analysis. And also in order to improve system reliability or the system quality, we are going to apply fault tolerance concept so that the system would be more robust and the quality of the system would be improved. So these techniques would be discussed in this course. And the second part uh, after the midterm would be focusing on the design of system uh, in terms of reliability and optimization. So several techniques for optimizations would be discussed. Um, the kind of systems that we are focusing on here is not just a hardware only system, but also can be applied or toward embedded system concept, which consisting of both hardware and software components and also the concept of distributed systems would be discussed. So this is the um, detailed schedule for this class that um, for the first half of the class here, uh, as we see here, the bullet number one up to seven, pretty much we are going to base on a textbook. Okay, this is about the, the core concept of reliability. And after that, we are going to reference a lot of uh, literature, the up-to-date ones. And there would be a lot of discussion about like hot topics and techniques that people are using for system design. Also for this class, we are going to have a term project or maybe a term paper that um, you may be assigned to do some research looking at some state of the art problems and analyze uh, possible solution or possible design for that certain system that you focus on. The textbook that we use for this class is an introduction to reliability and maintainability engineering. Uh, the publisher is McGraw-Hill 1997. Okay, and also as we discussed that a lot of publications or literature would be discussed. And there is another textbook, another one which is recommended. It discussed or emphasized more on the concept of software reliability engineering, this one. This, both of the, the textbooks are available in uh, our library. The grading policy is as shown here that we are going to have midterm for 30% of the whole grade, the final exam, term project or term paper, and there would be some homework and assignments. These are roughly the uh, the grade that 
we have, uh, which could be adjusted slightly. That um, if you have some concerns or some opinions of how you like this class to to cover or to focus on some certain topics, or you like to have some other assignment, something, and you like the grade to be more on that, so we can discuss about that later on as well. Okay, so now we know about um, the, the course outline. Now let's see the concept of reliability engineering. Okay, this chapter one would give us an overview of the concept. Okay, some of you or most of you may have questions that what is reliability? How to capture or how to identify reliability of a system, okay? But before we go on to the description, a specific description of reliability, in general, reliability or in the sense reliable system, everyone would be familiar with the term reliable, right? That's something that we can depend on or we would feel comfortable with, right? So that's, that's uh, something related to the meaning that we discuss here. Okay, so let's take that general concept for now and let's see the related attributes related to reliability. Okay, these are the top 10 important product attributes. Okay, for any kind of products that we have. Okay, most people would concern with the performance of the product. Okay, and the next one would be how long lasting the product is. That's toward the concept of reliability. Okay, that's come in uh, number two, rank number two. <coughs> the total score is 10. Okay, and the next attribute would be about cervix. If we could get a good cervix from that product, the product could be anything, could be a computer, could be a car that you purchase. Okay. The next issue would be about maintainability or how easy that it can be repaired, how easy to find the uh, spare parts if the product is fail or broken down. The next one would be about the warranty of the product. Most people would not feel comfortable if they purchase a product and there is no warranty at all on the product. Okay. And there are also several issues such as uh, how easy to use that product or the appearance. Uh, does it come in a good packaging or not? Or some would concern about the brand of the product if it is a well-known one, if it is uh, IBM, it is uh, Hewlett Packard and so on, those kind of brands that uh, a lot of people would just go for it, even though they have to pay higher price for that. Okay, then other issues are like um, the, the packaging. Okay, the appearance and the packaging would be um, maybe similar, it's just the, the packaging is the outside, like how they show you the product, the outlook, but the appearance, that could be something more inside, a uh, specific function or component, how they look like. And if the product is 